Hey everyone, this is Dr. Tib. Wanna be friends? Now I took that intro from one of the last comments on the last video. So if you want me to use one of your intros, comment down below. So while you're here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that little bell icon. So what I found out today is that a lot of my subscribers aren't seeing my videos because for some reason YouTube isn't posting it to their YouTube account. And I figured out it's because they weren't hitting that bell icon. So they're missing out on all the great tips that I'm putting out. So hit the subscribe button, bell icon, and hit that thumbs up button, absolutely smash it and annihilate it so the YouTube algorithm knows that you like my videos, that you guys love me, and that you want others to see it too. Now, today we're gonna to be learning about ligature ties, floss ligature ties to help pull down rubber dam, help invert it, and push down gingiva so you can get to the ends of the margins of your cavities, your cavity preparations, your margins, and your restorations to have the perfect restorations for your patients so that you give them the best possible work that you can. Now, we're gonna look at three different styles and types of ligature ties today. The first one is super simple. It's basically something you can tie in like a second. You already know how to do it, but you need two hands to keep it tied up. The second one is a bowline knot. Now that is a little bit more complicated, but it allows you to use one hand to tighten it, which means you can hold the, ru the rubber dam or the floss with one hand and you can tighten it with the other hand and you're gonna get the perfect lead that's gonna pull everything down. And the third one is a double leg tie. So it uses like two rounds of floss to go around the teeth. It goes really tight, again, pull with one hand and basically just knots and pulls everything really low and really tight. Now, this is gonna make your life with rubber dam so much easier. So a lot of you might realize now that you're using rubber dam, and if you wanna know how to use rubber dam, check out my last video, that sometimes it rides up really high. When you're doing restorations like buckles or uh, restorations that are deeper down, you need to hold that rubber dam down. And ligatures are the best way to do that. So we're gonna need some floss. So go and grab some floss and come back because we're gonna go through all three step by step. At the very end of this video, I'm gonna give you a really quick demonstration how to do all three again. So if you need a refresher, just come back to this video and go to the end and have a look at it. Um, but otherwise, I'm gonna show you the very first time how do I do it fast. And then we're gonna go step by step once or twice so then you can go through it yourself to just nail it down so you know how to tie one of these knots. So you're gonna need some floss. So we're gonna grab some floss, about 15 centimeters or so, you know, kind of two palms, palms worth. The first ligature is gonna be pretty simple. You're gonna put it down and you're gonna tie a knot in it. And then you can end up with this loop. And then with the loop, if you pull on one, nothing happens. But if you pull on both, it gets smaller. So that is the first ligature tie. Now let me do that slowly for you so you can figure out how that works. So basically, you put it down with the loop. You pretend it's one piece of string and you just tie a knot in it like you normally would. Just a knot. Now this will be, you open it and you can floss it between the two teeth and then you hold both ends and you pull and you pull and you pull until you get a ligature around, around the tooth. So that's a simple one. Now the bowline. The bowline's a bit different. Again, just the same piece of floss. Now, with the bowline, you basically make a circle. You put, you make a second loop that goes through it. You put that through that and you get a third ring. You pull it together and you've got another floss, another ligature. Now, the advantage of this one is if you pull on that, it gets smaller. If you pull on that one, it gets smaller. That's, you can get it really tight just by pulling on it with one finger. So let me go through the bow line again with you. So it's very simple. What you do is you make a loop, then you take another bite, so you take the one that's left over, and you make another loop through it. So you've got two loops, the first one and the second one. And when you have a second one, you take the tail, this bit that's still there, and you put that through, just through that loop and you hold it 
And then that third loop you just made, you just pull on it. And now you've got a knot. And now if you pull, it will get smaller. Doesn't matter which one you pull on, if you pull, it'll get smaller. There's another way of doing this, which may be easy for some that just tie bow lines in general. So you kind of put it down. Now you want to use your, your index finger and your middle finger. You grab that bit of floss through there. You go over the floss and you basically do that with your hand like that. So you go over and you do that. Still keep that tail going up and you've got this bit of floss there. It just goes around and back through that hole. Hold it. And if you pull it, it's the same knot. Just depends on how you'd like to, to do it. So let me do it one more time. I'll do it the other way. So I think the other way is easier. You take a loop, you take a bite, so you put another one through. Then you take this and you put it through. And you hold on to both. And you tie it. And it comes through. All right. Now for the third one, number three. This is, this is a really, really advanced one. So I'm going to do it fast first and I'll show you. I'll show you in quick succession. So you go like that. Bring it across. Do it again. Bring it across. And you just take this knot and you tie it in. You get a really good slip knot. Now the advantage of this is you've actually got two bits of floss. If I can separate this. You've got two rings of floss going through each one. So you go to floss on one side, then floss on the other side, and you take the two lots and you pull. You can see it's getting closer and closer, and this is a really tight one. But it takes a little bit more, more practice and more skill. But let's go step by step so you can figure out how to do it yourself. So basically take a piece of floss. You carve it down the middle, so you've got it right in the middle. You take your thumb and your middle finger and you make a little, little shape with it. Now what you're gonna do is while holding tension, you're gonna just flick around like this. So flick around and so you've got it like that. Okay, so come around. And when you do that, when you do that, you're gonna find that you can collapse both of these together and you've got another loop there. So all you're gonna do is the same thing again. You're gonna put your fingers through there and where that one is, you're gonna come down again and you're gonna have a big hole. Now you've got two kind of knots. You've got one here and you have one there. You basically need to bring that knot to there and let it kind of pull itself in. So you kind of use your fingers and you stretch it to tie that knot in. And now you've got your ligature with two. So you floss around the teeth. Might use my viper. Floss around the teeth. And then you pull. And as you pull, you'll notice it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Move back and forwards and it's super tight now. Thanks, viper. So there you go, you've learned how to do three ligature ties. A simple one, the bow line, and the double floss one, so you get power. And so make sure you hit that subscribe button, that bell icon, so you can see more of my videos. And just so you want to come back and remember this, I'm going to do the very end, I'm going to do the three again, so that you can see quite quickly how it's done. So if you ever need to see this video again, just refresh your memory, come back to the end and give that a watch. Alrighty. I will see you next time. And remember, leave a comment down below if you want me to say it next time. I might choose you. This is Dr. Tiv, over and out. All right, the first one is simple. Hit in half, tie a knot. Pull it in and you've got it. It's very simple. The second one is the bow line. So you've got to get a circle. Put the next one through, so you've got another loop coming through. 
take the tail, put it through that, and then tie that up. And now you can pull. And the third one. Nice one.